I'll use my official name, Bubber Nutters. Hey guys, what is up? This is Geek of My Project, and I'm playing a game called Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And you guys asked me to play this game specifically somebody who really, really wanted me to play this game. And his name is Sean Wetzbarger, and if he is from PEX, or Project X, not, I'll put a link in the description down below. But, uh, he showed me this game, and at first I was very skeptical of it, but I love it so much. And the reason why this isn't my first impression on it is because, uh, I've tried to record this several times, but it's not as easy as I would hope. No. 13, 11, lots of intel. Yeah, there we go. So, this game is kind of like a D&D type game. That's kind of what it reminds me of, at least. So, these are all the skills that I get. And when I have feats or, like, abilities that are linked to these skills, I get a modifier for them. So, and for instance, strength measures, measures physical power. A high strength adds modifier to melee damage and, and chance to hit, which is important. I didn't know it changed the chance of you hitting it. Oh, I'm going to change that a bit to 14... Even 15. Oh no, it can only go to that much. Okay. It only goes high 14. Uh, so it's basically melee. Dexterity has to do with your chance to hit and your power from range weapons, but I don't use a lot of range weapons. I usually use melee. Constitution repel uh, represents health and resiliency. High constitution adds modifiers to vitality points gained at each level up. Oh, that's really important too, isn't it? Uh, less of this. That can only go that high, so perfect. Uh, intelligence. Intelligence, is, to me, is really important. Intelligence represents knowledge and reasoning. A high intelligence adds modifiers to the number of points character has to spend on essential skills. Important to me. There's three abilities, I believe, that are linked with intelligence, so I'll get a plus three modifier in all of those skills. This one, I get a plus two. Oh, it costs two points. That's why I couldn't do it. Oh, dear gish. I need to have somewhat of a dexterity. Don't I? A high dexterity adds modifiers range attack rolls. Blast these grenades. Oh, grenades. And increase the character's defense rating, making them harder to hit. Oh, I need that, though. I didn't even notice that part. I don't want to drop down my intelligence, but I'll do it by one. Because that gave me two points. Okay. Um, Wisdom. Wisdom represents willpower and perception. A high wisdom adds modifiers to Jedi force points and force power saving throws. The force power of a Jedi with high wisdom are also much harder to resist. I think that's pretty cool. In fact, that should be higher. Son of a bitch. Charisma <laughs> represents personality and the ability to lead. High charisma adds modifiers to force related feats and powers that are very important all to all Jedi classes. It's also central to any persuasive talker. <sighs> What was it recommended again? Uh, I should put some in wisdom, because wisdom, I believe, is a good thing. I want high intelligence, but I think I should balance this out a little more. That's the one thing I love so much about this game, is that it makes it hard to choose. Everything is valuable in this game. Every skill, it's not like, none of them are biased. It's not biased. Everyone is equally needed, at least in my mind they are. So I'm going to go with recommend and then I'll explain. Computer use. kind of goes into hacking. Computer use allows the character to slice computer programs using disposable logic rams called computer spikes. A, ca a character might disable gun turrets or flood a patrol area with more complicated tasks requiring more spikes. A high rank in this skill reduces the number of spikes required by one. For every four points total, including attribute score modifiers. So every four points in this, it reduces by one spike. Demolitions. Demolitions can be used to set, recover, or disarm mines. Such devices either are low. So, okay. Basically, this means that I can... It's like trap setting and removing. Uh, stealth is kind of like a camouflage or like some form... I believe it's a form of invisibility. But awareness is the ability to sense invisibility, stealth, or traps. So I'd like to keep these both at a four so I can sense traps and disarm them. Persuade, that kind of has to do with, like, if you ever played Fallout 4, there's an option in dialogue that'll, like, where you have to persuade the character. The higher your persuasion is, the higher it is you'll get important information out of them. 
repair allows the character to fix disabled mechanical devices like droids using disposable package parts. The number of parts kits required increase with the difficulty of repair. The skill reduces the number by require, uh, required by one for every four points total, including attribute score modifiers. The skill also modifies the amount of vitality points recovered when party members, droids, or repair kits. Advanced repair kits and construction kits on themselves to repair combat damage. Okay, so since the related attribute is intelligence, for even for demolition as well, and this one, so I'm actually gonna go down on intelligence and gosh, dang it, that takes two. Uh, that's wisdom. Did I get? Uh, wisdom. I don't know if I got an up for wisdom. Intelligence. So, I'll get three points. No, I only get two! One! No, I only get one! Oh! I only get one point out, so there's no point, I guess. That's why I like keeping my intelligence at 16. Dang it! Mm. Oh, that sucks. I'll get a one point. <sighs> Computer use takes two points to add, but I still get a plus three modifier if I have 16 intelligence. Security. Security is a good one to have for sure. Does it cost two? It does cost two. Oh, I need these both. I'll go down on each one of them and go up one in security. Because if you don't have any security, you literally can't even use the skill. So, I want to have at least one in security. Oh, let's make it so hard. Attributes. Yeah, oh. I need to bring, I want to bring my intelligence back up to its highest. Oh, now it costs a lot. Okay. Uh, until, uh, Constitution down one. Uh, Dexterity down one. Oh, I want my intelligence so bad. Oh, hey, I have two more. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Okay. 16 intelligence. Not as balanced as I would want it to be, but I want intelligence really bad. I understand that that's not the perfect thing to do, but I really want my, uh, I really want my intelligence up. Now, since I get a plus three modifier for computer use, I can just add one and I'll get an entire computer spike down. So I'll go down in demolition and down one in awareness. Repair costs two, so I don't want to go down in one of those. No, but the required class is intelligence. Perfect. I can go down one in demolition and one in repair. Then I'll go back up to four. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, I think I got this. Two points and two points. Why do I still have an extra point? Oh, that costs two points. Dang it, I need that. Ah, That's wisdom. I don't have anything for that. Ah, Guess it after... Demolitions. Mm, I could go down one more in demolition. It'd put me at five. And then I get one in security. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because I want to have the security skill because... Even if it's low, I at least have the ability to do that. Okay, so these are my feats. These are basically, like, abilities that I'm able to have, like wearing armor, except it unlocks all three types of armor at once. Power attack, power blast, that's like melee and range. Uh, and these four weapons, uh, blaster pistol, blaster rifle, heavy weapons, and melee weapons. I'm probably going to focus a lot more on melee weapons just because I prefer melee weapons. Feet reduce the attack penalty of a character wielding a double-bladed weapon. I'm going to go with that one because last time I tried this, I did hold a double-bladed weapon. Or I held two weapons. And I'll, I'll use my official name, Bubber Nutters. This game could be serious, but nah. I'm kidding about the serious thing, by the way. I I'm going to take this serious. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, this n nostalgia just hits you. Star Wars! Yes! Oh, you're going to see the thing in the top right corner. Mm. Damn it. Sorry about that. I can't really fix that right now. Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges... On collapse, Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. 
In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Oh, I love this so much. Now, okay, you might actually not see the thing in the top right. I hope not. But this game kind of has a good and bad side to it. Like, you can decide whether you want to be the good guys or whether you want to be the bad guys. Or a good guy or a bad guy. For the first bit of dialogue that does almost nothing, I'm going to go on the good side, but other than that, I'm going to let you guys decide which way I should head, good or bad. Oh, I love this. This is so great. Mm, so good. This game's graphics are good for its time, but I mean, according to today, they don't hold up as well. But I mean, the game is just so good. It's so nice to have like a D&D type game that kind of does the math for you and that you kind of can experience a little better. Ooh, oh, my eyes look, oh, okay, those are my eyelids. I thought those were my eyes for a second. Oh. Ooh, I'm muscular. Ooh, nice glutes. <laughs> We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Ooh, the Endar Spire? You fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Kras Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. I don't think that's you a good thing to say. Ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Who's Bastila? That's the good Bastille side. Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastille is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Oh, Ternoa. Okay. Well, let's go help so Bastille. Hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Active class. Hmm. I like. Okay, I'll go into the foot locker and I'll grab me my stuff. I got 50 experience because I pulled something out of a locker. I'm good at this. I'm really good at pulling things out of lockers. I've been practicing since I was like 14. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the melee weapon. Because I like melee weapons. Wait a second. Okay, to hit damage 1 to 8, 3 to 8. Okay, that's what I thought. Melee weapons usually have more damage when it comes to games like this. And they have 11 health right now. Okay. So. I look kind of cool. I don't remember swords being in Star Wars. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on I'm your pretty own. sure this this game is canon with the comics of Star Wars. Dress for your party. Cool. He's in my party. Surprise. Okay, cool. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. He just made the fourth wall his bitch. Left-click my portrait now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Small, sad shards. The fourth wall lies on the ground in pieces. Left-click to target the door. Then left click it again with the mouse to open. Dead. Okay. But I'll go ahead and do what he said about the whole left clicking thing. I don't know about him, how he knows about that. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead okay. again. Bubber Nutters back to party leader. I am the great Bubber Nutters, and I will take lead now. This is Cartel Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move out and let this happen. 
Whew. Oh, I know, right? She is so ugly. See, this is one of the times where you need security. And if I didn't have this, the guy, the, the other party guy, would also would have it. But I like to have it just in case. I haven't played much of this game, but the storyline seems so great. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party. For the he Republic. should not have been just standing there. Maybe he should have taken cover. I know how to fight. I've been fighting since I was three. And a half. Plus a couple years. Oh, that's cool. I love that. I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. I don't think I need a med pack right now. Because I have... See, okay, it's... Okay, there we go. It does this thing sometimes where I'm in... When I'm in combat, it won't let me move. It's really annoying, kinda. So I've got a med pack, advanced med pack, advanced med pack. Uh, I don't think I'll need these, especially since I got advanced healing right now, I think. Don't I? What is my wisdom right now? Plus one modifier for wisdom. Oh, that's really cool, because I remember I took something out from wisdom, I believe. Uh, treat injury. Yeah, that's at a five right now. So I get a lot of health out of med packs, like enough to heal all of my health at once. Literally. Uh, security, I've got a security of two. I don't even need to get security, I guess. Well, yep, that's at four, and the computer use is at four, meaning that I get the extra thingy that I got for both of them. Is there anything over here that is special that I... Nope. Looks like it... Oh, my bad. Oh, I love this game so much. There's so many cool things about it. So many cool elements about it. Mm, die, bitch. No, don't miss. Hit more often. And if I ever... It, it's not technically turn-based, but it, it seems like it. But also, uh... I can use a med pack in the middle of combat, so that's helpful. Okay. Okay. Ooh, longsword. Ooh, longsword. Longsword! I can go ahead and change this over to the longsword. And then right here, I can do the short sword. That's the reason why I got the skill where I don't get reduced... I don't get as many reduced stats from holding two weapons at a time. Got another med pack. Perfect. I should use one right now, probably. So let's go med pack. Yeah, I'm at three. I could lose three health all at once, and that's what I'm afraid of. So I'll go ahead and use my med pack anyways. Ooh. Ouch. That looked like- that sounded like a very blunt sword. You just killed your own guy right there. I've never seen those soldiers, actually. The silver ones? I've never seen a soldier- I understand they're in the comics. But I've never seen one personally. Like, I've never heard of them. They're probably in a movie and I'm really stupid. Oh well. Oh gosh! He's about to hit me. And I'm about to die. Oh my gosh. I have one health. I saved that at such the perfect time. So close to dying. Oh dear gosh. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Okay, that's why I'm losing so much health. In fact, I should probably go up to the guys that are shooting me. Or maybe that other guy should help me. No? Okay. I, I guess he is helping me. I, he can't shoot. Click target enemy once to engage. You'll automatically attack your target each round. You do not have to look at the din. Okay. I'll engage combat. I did not read that. This is one of those times. I cannot move right now. I mean, if I click on something, it'll move me to it. Ion grenade. Oh, that's cool. I can't move right now. I don't know what's wrong. Won't let me get in and out of battle mode. Oh, well. Okay. I'll use another one of my med packs. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I was so close to dying. That close to the beginning of the game. Oh, no. What happened? Why, why did you die? Got parts. Does that mean I can fix this droid? No, I can't. I also can't move. Wow. This is going to be a problem. I guess I'll play as him, because I know he can move. That happens a lot, actually. And I think if I switch back to me... Nope, I still can't move. What? He has 36 health. That's dumb. 
Anyways, there should be a door around here that I can use. Over here. That's where it is. Okay. Am I being less stupid now? Sure. Kind of less stupid. Can't move with any of the keys. Well, that kind of sucks. I can turn my camera. Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. See, he's kind of got the same armor, too. Isn't that Dark Jedi a Sith? I mean, I guess you kind of need a master to be a Sith. I guess he's just kind of on his way there? That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, I get to hold we could have uh, used your help. Lightsaber at one point? I wanna. I want one! I could use a frag grenade. Ah, oh, lol, you suck. I only had to hit them once and they'll die. And I still can't move. Why? It says F to leave combat, but it doesn't let me. Oh, there we go. Just let me. This is so weird. <sighs> oh, well. Okay. I think this is the bridge, so I'll, I can save here and then end the episode here. Oh, this game is so much fun. This is my older attempt at recording. So I'll go ahead and save right there. I'm going to end the episode here. I know that I want to see more personally. And I'm not going to see any more until I record again. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If there's anything else you guys see us play, tell us in the comments down below. Tell me if you think I should be on the light side or the dark side. And whichever one becomes most popular, I'll start working more and more towards that side. So I hope to see you in another one. So bye.